A new national suicide prevention lifeline debuted today. By simply calling or texting 988, anyone can now get access to services and resources. CBS 2's Candace Crone has that story. Has he ever been violent towards anybody that you're aware of? Trained LA County mental health counselors answered urgent calls on the first day of the launch of a new nationwide suicide hotline number 988. It's a very busy day, so uh, just be very mindful of that. The new three digit number is easy to remember and instantly connects callers with operators who can help with crisis counseling and other important services. The hotline is billed as an alternative to calling 911 for people experiencing mental health emergencies. The hope is that ultimately one day 988 is as ubiquitous as 911 so that people know in a mental health crisis if somebody needs to speak with somebody they can call that number anywhere in the country and reach someone 24 hours a day. Dee Dee Hirsch Mental Health Services already runs a suicide prevention center and teamed up with the LA County Department of Mental Health to serve as 988's provider locally. The service offers more than just phone counseling depending on the caller's needs. We have psychiatric mobile response teams, what we call our PMRT teams, that are available right now between 8 a.m. and 2 a.m. So they can be dispatched from the call center in the event that we need an in-person assessment or in-person intervention. According to the county's latest data, 865 people died by suicide in 2019. That's down from 947 the year before. Health officials say since the pandemic, there has been an increase in interest for mental health services and that the new hotline will be vital in helping save even more lives. There's an, uh, an increased need and we've seen that through the pandemic. The, the last few years have been very difficult for everyone. The current suicide hotline number will remain active. The county also plans to expand the hours of its psychiatric mobile response team to 24 hours a day, seven days a week. I'm Candace Crone, CBS2 News.